All right, so this is a continuation of the displacement tutorial. I just wanted to talk about how to correct the seams. And what I mean by that is I'm just going to go up here to Arnold Open Render View and render this out, get this started, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to kind of let this render. And where there's a seam on the UV is where we're going to have problems on the displacement map. So what we're looking at is a displacement map, and I can see that um, here here, here we have kind of this cracking on the displacement map. And if I go to UV Editor, uh, you can see this is how I have my UVs line laid out. And then if I click on this, I can actually see my seams where they are here. Um, and you can see that kind of coincides with the problems here. So first I'm going to talk about why that's happening. And then I'm going to show you a, a quick, simple fix that's really a kind of a one-button click to fix that. So, um, so why is that, or, you know, if we look here, I can see, especially right here, this is a huge problem right here, that, that cracking on the displacement map. So what I'm going to do to see this a little bit easier, here I have another Maya open so I don't kind of screw up this one. I'll just kind of stop the render. And... Okay, great. So here's um, just kind of a clean Maya scene. And it's hard to kind of look at the guy's displacement map and talk about it without, um, I mean, without rendering it. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to his material and I'm going to put his displacement map on the color file so we can take a look at it. So I'm going to go like this, assign just um, a new material and I'm going to go to Arnold Shader I'm going to add an AI standard surface. And then I'm going to go ahead and, for color, I'm going to go ahead and add a file. And I'm going to put on his displacement. And by the way, if you want to know how to make the displacement, um, I've got another video that I will link to. Um, and because I'm using UDIMS, I'm going to go to Mari. And I'm going to click Generate Preview. And then we can kind of start to analyze this. I want to make sure that I press 6. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for it to load in the viewport. And um, I can see here, and if I press 3 for smoothing, okay, and if I click on this, I can kind of start to see where the seams are. But they're not as bad as kind of what it's showing. And this is just kind of a kind of a, a preview of what's happening. But I want to show you some things here. So if I click on the object itself, and if I go into the Shape tab in the Attribute Editor, and I go under Arnold, and if I come down here to Subdivision, uh, actually, hold on here. I want to um, take a look at, yeah, under Smooth Mesh, okay? And then if I open up the Subdivision Controls, and it's important that we look at this in here. Okay, so now I can kind of see what's going on here. And I kind of want to take this area, for example, because that was a really problematic area. And where that is, I believe, if I select this, if I want to see where this is, I can see that it looks like it's right in this area here. Okay? And right now it's not really that problematic, but if I go to this area here, I can see that the UV boundary smoothing, okay, that's kind of where the problem lies. Okay, so if I go to none, what it's doing is it's keeping my border edges on my UVs super tight. Okay, and I believe it was set to uh, preserve edges. No, it was set, um, I think it was set to the Maya Catmull Clark, and you can see that the edges stay correct. Now, if I have it set to something else like preserve edges, you can start to see that we get this black separation here and the reason why is because look at how the edge of the UV is falling outside of the displacement map. Um, preserve edges and corners okay still doesn't do the job but even when I did Maya Catmull Clark um, we were still getting problems here so let's go back and kind of analyze that so now that we kind of know what we're looking at. So if I look at this guy here um, if I go up to open subdivision controls, I do have my cat Clark on. I can see that it shouldn't be 
kind of cracking at that zone. So I'm going to zoom up right here once again. And if I go to UV Editor, um, I can definitely tell that, yep, that's where the seam is. And once again, if I open Arnold Render View, I can see, yes, we do have a lot of cracking. I'm going to go ahead and play that. So we're looking at the UVs and we're saying, hey, I thought I would correct it by changing, you know, making sure that my UV borders stay tight when it smooths, but it still has that kind of crack. Okay, what I found was if I select the object and then if I scroll down under the Arnold tab in the shape area, I'm going to come down here and under subdivision for UV smoothing, if I switch it from pin corners to pin borders, okay, once again, if we look here, I can see there's also problems here on this seam, but if I switch this to pin borders, okay, that is the magic ticket because it's, it still has to update here. Okay, so I'm just going to hit play. And you can see that magically that seam goes away, the seam here goes away. And if I look at the other ones, they're, they're, actually, they're actually gone. Okay, it looks like they're there, but I feel like it's, um, the more that this calculates, the better. So I can see that all of the seams are fixed. So once again, you have to select the shape. You have to go into the Shape tab in the Attribute Editor. And then you have to find Arnold. I would leave this at Cat Clark here for boundary smoothing. But the trick is to go to Arnold, come down here to Subdivision, leave it at Cat Clark here, and make sure that your UV smoothing is set to pin borders. Now we should have um, really seamless kind of transitions uh, between that. Once again, this was, I feel like, the worst area for that cracking. And now I feel like um, we should be pretty smooth. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you have any more questions, please leave it in the comments below. Um, if you have found this helpful, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. And I will talk to you later.